Hi everyone, today we are going to check out Red Wings Aces of the Sky. This is an all in games sponsored video, so thank you so much for that. This game is a flight combat arcade like game. It's a brand new game, it was released the 21st of May. This game is published and developed by all in games. This game is chapter and mission based with scoreboards and a three star collecting system on every mission. It's kind of hard to get all the three stars on every mission, gotta say. This game is sweet, simple, easy in the beginning, but it gets really hard further in. Some of the missions are just impossible near the end of this game, especially the flying through the rings missions. They are very hard in the end. This game has also a multiplayer functions and you can play split screen co-op with someone on the couch. I'm gonna force my friends to do this with me, just like I did with the last game. This game has two campaigns. You have the Triple Alliance and the Triple Intent. So you are playing German a bit and then British a bit. The game is set in the First World War. This game has 50 missions and 10 planes to unlock and skins. But you don't unlock skins unless you get a 3 star rating in a bunch of these missions. The story is presented to you in a like um, cartoon style setting. Also story is fully voiced. You know we can appreciate fully voiced games. The loading screens are beautiful too, and it doesn't take long with the loading. So about graphics and performance, I found no performance issues with this title. And I actually think the graphics are sometimes just very beautiful. There's a lot of um, level variety. Some levels it is in nighttime, sometimes it's daytime. So the variety in the levels are basically color based changed out the color palette and just the weather because you are up in the sky you know after all and sometimes it's raining so you know it's that sort of variation to the levels but you are always in the sky so you know don't worry now i'm sure gameplay is what you want to hear about so the controls in the beginning of the game took me some time to get used to uh, because the controls are different you can also change the y axis so when you are playing, you can do a barrel roll that temporarily gives you a defense against other planes. You can also crash into other planes using a barrel roll and you will not lose health that way. You can fast turn around and I use that a lot and you actually have to use that a lot. <laughs> That is really convenient, just turning around really fast. You have Fatal Takedown, <laughs> and it is exactly what it sounds like it is. When you have damaged another enemy plane to the point where you can do a Fatal Takedown, you just press a button if you have that skill recharged, and your character pulls out a gun and shoots the enemy. Like, literally. <laughs> you can also call a squadron to come and you know, fight for you. As you are controlling your plane, you can change your speed up and down as you can see here. And I actually like that because sometimes when you are trying to aim in on an enemy that is in front of you, I just slow down my plane a lot to make the aiming much more easier. But when you are being shot at, you should definitely amp up your speed or else you will be like a very easy target. You fire at set R and you have your objective at the minus button. Sometimes it is confusing what the objective is, but the narrator will tell you at the beginning of the mission. And if you happen to forget, just hit the minus button. So one of the bigger differences, there are quite a few things that are differently. Uh, the controls feel differently, I went over that. But you also have rings in the sky in all missions and all regular missions as well. And they restore health and fuel. You actually run out of fuel in this game. So you should absolutely keep an eye on your health and fuel at all times. I ran out of fuel and that was not fun. Sometimes in the game you get these bomb missions and they are, they are hard I feel like because 
the controls in the bomb missions they feel uh, a bit slow i can't seem to get around all the things that are being shot at me so it's really easy to die in the bomb missions because it doesn't feel like i have too much uh, control some planes has armor and you have a skill table in this game and in that skill tree you can increase the damage that you do to armored planes you can increase your critical hit chance you can improve on some of your abilities that you already have you know and you get skill points from completing missions and getting a three star rating preferably on <laughs> every mission that you do so that is sort of how you in a way level up in this game because there's not really a level system there is just a skill system and you get skill points from playing the game you sometimes have to take down enemy balloons just don't fly into them you'll crash and burn <laughs> i don't really mean to but i sometimes i I don't see them and I crash into them and I'm like, oh god, this again. <laughs> the tutorial is useful. It takes you one minute to do the tutorial and then you have the controls nailed. But I gotta say, in this game, the missions get harder and harder and harder and harder. And sometimes it gets to a frustrating point. But as with any game, normally anyway, games tend to get progressively harder and harder further into them. This definitely does that. So I have gotten to some levels that are just too frustrating. I'm dying and dying and dying. So I think I'm gonna force my neighbor to help me with those. Um, he's gonna love this game. He really loved the last game that I recommended to him. I mean, I just love being up in the sky. So this is a nice little game. The rings missions, they are the hardest in the game. Absolutely super hard. This game also has a survival mode, I forgot to mention that, and that is just basically mindlessly taking down the enemy wave after wave and see how long you can stay alive for. And that can be quite some time if you're good at this game. So yeah, I want to say that this game is uh, a nice game to chill with. I'm just coming in here to show you what it looks like and tell you a little bit how it plays and you can make up your mind from that. Do you want more videos where I'm just checking out some eShop games? I actually wanna do more videos in this style because the buy or not format, I wanna, I wanna reserve that for really bigger games. And for mm, smaller eShop games, I could do this format. And just checking in on you guys and giving you a little game recommendation every now and then. Okay, thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, you know it, I will see you later. But what happens up in the air will never leave you.